So, is Valorant malware? Is it a CCP rootkit or spyware or just another game? Well, today we have a test system and we're going to monitor it and try to answer this question definitively once and for all, which hopefully will also answer questions about similar applications and anti-cheat software in general. Are invasive applications a risk to your security and what should you do about it? So first off, I want to say it should be kind of obvious, but when you install Valorant on your computer, it makes a lot of connections and I mean a lot. Most of these are to the servers across the Riot CDN network. But what kind of data is it sending and where? Well, that's a difficult question to answer because the data itself is going to be encrypted. So you're not going to be able to tell. Even if I were to trace some of these individual connections, like the IP addresses that it connects to, most of these are going to be Amazon servers in a nearby location. So you can't really tell where the data is really going after that. But here's some facts. If we do a quick search, the Riot Games, the company behind Valorant is owned completely by the Chinese megagiant Tencent. Now asking if Tencent is interested in spying on you is like asking if the dog wants its bone. In certain situations the answer may be no, but in general it's a resounding yes. So we're going to continue with our investigation of the behavior, but knowing the ownership where we can't find answers we're going to have to assume the worst. So let's start with the client and what it does. We take a look at Process Explorer and examine all the Valorant processes. We have the Riot client services, seems perfectly safe. And if we examine the loaded DLLs, nothing strange here either. Now, if we take a look at Vanguard, which is the actual anti-cheat application, this particular exe doesn't really do anything. This is based in program files, and it's only a simple 3 meg application. But do not make the mistake of assuming that this is the Vanguard application. This is the notification application for Vanguard. The real anti-cheat is embedded deep within your system as a driver. Now, where you are going to see it is if we ignore all of this and take a deeper look at the system. And here we have a list of DLLs that are loaded, including drivers like AMD drivers, kernel drivers, display drivers, Bluetooth. And if we scroll through this list, we're eventually going to find Vanguard, VDK.sys, which is a kernel mode driver by Riot Games. So when you see discussions on Reddit about Valorant being malware or spyware, most people just look at this and panic. Because this is essentially like a rootkit. It's a driver that's embedded within your system. But it's also important to have some perspective here. So I want to look at a competitor to Valorant, Counter-Strike 2, and their Faceit anti-cheat. So if we head over to my system where I do have Faceit's anti-cheat running, and similarly look at the system, we are also going to find the Faceit anti-cheat loaded as a system driver. So this behavior itself is not unique to Vanguard. If you want an application to be able to monitor and police what's happening on your system, it has to be embedded in the system. And it's the same reason the next thing on the list is Malwarebytes anti-ransomware protection. Now this is again one of the things that people on Reddit when they see Kaspersky install a driver like this. They're like, oh, it's Russian spyware and completely ignore the fact that every other AV needs to have their driver embedded there as well. But here's the thing that makes Valorant different. Face at Santi cheat can be turned off at any time. And if I wanted to, I could simply relaunch it, opening the app. But with Valorant, if I want to go ahead and exit out of Vanguard, it gives me a warning saying that the game depends on its functionality and will stop working until I restart my computer. And that is actually correct. So if I go ahead and exit it, I can no longer play the game. And if we try, there's an error message saying that I need to reboot the computer. And this is a huge difference because effectively, as someone who wants to play Valorant needs to have a Vanguard running on their system all the time, whether they're playing the game or not. You could be browsing the internet for six hours before you decide to get into a Valorant game, and Vanguard's going to be running the whole time if you want to be able to quickly start up and load your game when you want to play. Now, for you technical folk, there are also different levels of kernel access, and it 
turns out Valorin needs very significant kernel access, and that's one of the excuses as to why it needs to load up with the system when you restart. But that's not convincing for me, especially considering there are other applications that manage to do it without. And then when you add a nefarious end user license agreement that includes a forced arbitration, so you can't even have a class action lawsuit against them? I don't know, but that just sounds a little bit messed up. I can't look into these connections and tell you if they're spying on you the whole time or if they're only sending information when the game is launched. We simply don't have that access. But ask yourself if you want to run Tencent software 24-7 on your computer, in theory, monitor everything you do. If I were an anti-cheat software, why would I need to be running on someone's computer the whole time? It simply doesn't make sense. And I think this is what we need to pay more attention to, the behaviors that we're being forced into, not necessarily the fact that it loads a kernel level driver because applications do that. What concerns me more is they have set up the system in a way that people are going to have this application from Tencent running on their computer the whole time, whether or not they're playing Valorant. And I'm just not convinced of the reasons for it. So look, if you really enjoy playing Valorant, what I would suggest is just exit Vanguard whenever you stop playing Valorant. I know it's going to be a little bit more inconvenient to have to restart your system when you want to start playing, but I don't think you should give an anti-cheat application a permanent place in your memory. And as a principle, I think it makes sense to ask why an application is doing what it's doing. If you're an AV, it makes sense for you to want to have a driver to monitor everything all the time. But if you're an anti-cheat for a game, you only need to be running when the game is running. Now, of course, this could all just be a technical implementation thing. But the more I think about it, Tencent, Chinese ownership, data collection, and then hmm, an anti-cheat system that conveniently is set up in a way that in order to have a good gaming experience, you just need to let it run on your computer the whole time. I don't know. There's something about that that puts me off. It just seems to line up too conveniently for a data collection company like Tencent. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let me know if you enjoy these kinds of analysis videos. Now, since we did notice the uh, Malwarebytes driver, I thought this would be a great video to show the newest version. So there's sponsor. They they have a brand new UI with a very slick dark mode. You have all your devices visible here. You have a VPN if you subscribe to that. You also obviously have all of the advanced real-time protection features. And some of you who know Malwarebytes from back in the day, you might think of it as a second opinion scanner, but of course now it's a fully fledged security product with its own ransomware protection along with, and this is my personal favorite, not something a lot of products have, which is the ability to block penetration testing attacks. So this brings a lot of the enterprise security features to your home product if you turn this on. So if you haven't looked at Malwarebytes in a while, definitely check them out using the link in the description. I'm sure we'll be doing an independent test of this in the future, but hey, good on them for also supporting some of our educational content. So show them some love. And just to be clear, none of this is scripted. I'm just giving you my thoughts on it. And for the actual security tests, do watch our reviews on the PC Security Channel. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Spread the word. As we all know, Valorant, newbie cartoony game. Go play Counter-Strike. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.